Hello, beautiful one, and welcome to your reading. I'm Clarity Bay. I'm a psychic tarot intuitive, and I'm dedicated to answering the questions that are most important to you. And in your reading, I'm going to give you clear insight about the unexpected big blessings that are coming your way. I will share with you everything that spirit gives to me and not leave anything out. Please take one moment to click that like and subscribe button. Hit that bell notification so that you do not miss an important video message. Let's get straight into your reading. Meditate here on the three piles and pick the one that calmly draws you the most. This would be one, two, and three. Let's get straight into your reading. Hello, beautiful group one, and welcome to your reading. I'm Clarity Bay. I'm a psychic tarot intuitive, and I'm dedicated to answering the questions that are most important to you. And in your reading, I'm going to give you clear insight on the big unexpected blessings coming your way. I will share with you everything that spirit gives to me and not leave anything out. Please take one moment to click that like and subscribe button. Hit that bell notification so that you do not miss an important video message. Let's get straight into your reading. Your energy naturally attracts here to your card, Princess Savior. And this message that I am feeling is one where you're to know that even if you feel uncertain about facing a challenge, believe in yourself. You are strong enough to conquer this. There will be help if you need it, but you already have the inner resources required to overcome any obstacle and attain the most blessed outcome. So Spirit is clearly saying here that if you are in the process of letting go of someone or something, perhaps an old habit, an old way of life, a relationship or a situation in which you have felt trapped, don't allow your insecurity or uncertainty to stop you. You've got this. You are doing the right thing in moving on. So that is just a clear message that Spirit put here for you. So let's get more specifics as it does relate to your reading. The big blessings, unexpected good news coming to you. Thank you, Spirit. What are your blessings coming to you? And you have here the Four of Wands. So I definitely see some creativity between you and a, another person that is taking place. And this creativity, this project is going to be really liberating for you. It's going to offer lots of freedom as well. And with the Four of Wands energy, this is some fire zodiac sign energy present here as well. You have um, Sagittarius, Leo, and Aries in the top placements of the birth chart, either the sun, moon, or rising sign, the seventh house of relationship, or the planet Venus in your birth chart, or the person's birth chart that you will share this creativity adventure with. Also, this is also about a reunion. So there is something that's going to take place for you where you're going to reunite with, reunite with someone from your past as well. But this is going to offer you um, like a celebration. So something you're going to work on will be celebrated by your friends and your family. Something you're working on now, it's a project or it's an idea that, you're, that you have and you're putting your best foot forward, you're putting your effort into it, that's going to be celebrated. So let's get more insight. Thank you, Spirit. The blessings coming to you. What are the blessings coming to you? The engineer 
and the engineer's energy is ruled by the planet Mars. So I do love to see Mars showing up here because we did mention Aries with the Four of Wands energy. And Mars does rule over that zodiac sign of Aries. So this is a nice confirmation showing up straight off here in your reading. In your reading, spirit wants you to know that every problem has a solution. So this is really about productive energy that's taking place for you. Um, you're being blessed and downloaded with a focused, creative, co uh, competent um, energy to allow you to make decisions, to allow you to be a very um, adventurous. I do see a generous person that is coming into your life as well. And I do believe that this generous person is related here with the Four of Wands energy. So this person is going to offer their assistance to you as it does relate to your projects. And I feel like you're going to have fun with this person. And this person is going to um, help you step up your competitive game, as you would say and help you to be even more technical in your ventures. I do see here that you are determined to be successful. That's a part of your personality traits. You're very, very driven. And so this is a very good um, energy. Also here, um, there's there's loyalty. Someone's going to be um, show you the reciprocity energy of loyalty because you have been extremely loyal to someone or many people in the past. And so as your karmic cycle does cycle around, that loyalty is given back to you. So let's get more insight. Thank you, Spirit. What's happening for you? The big unexpected blessings coming to you. And you have here the Daughter of Swords. So with the Daughter of Swords energy, Air Zodiac signs, Gemini, Aquarius, and Libra in the top placements that I did mention moments earlier. But specific here with the Daughter of Swords, this is communication. So this is awesome. So something to do with communication. It could be um, social media where you'll be very uh, successful um, when you launch your project on social media or express your ideas as it does relate to the swords energy, that communication energy. Thank you, spirit. I do see here that you are speaking up more. You are not allowing people to tell you how to um, do what it is that you want to do. In other words, you do of course, listen to what they have to say, but you are making your own decisions for yourself. And this is wonderful. Thank you, Spirit. And it's working out very well. Let's get more insight. Thank you, Spirit. What's happening for you? Your big unexpected blessings coming to you. The law of attraction assembles happy relationships. This is a very nice correlation with the four of wands energy that just showed up. Thank you, Spirit. I love to see this. And let's see um, the messages here. The law of attraction cannot bring you a well-balanced, happy person if you are not yourself already that. And so the law of attraction, no matter what you do or say, will bring to you those who predominantly match the person who you predominantly are. And if you are not happy with yourself or with your life, the attraction of a partner will only exaggerate the discord because any action taken from a place of lack is always counterproductive. So this is a clear message here of how the spirit is definitely um, giving you intuition and wisdom as it does relate to partnerships, whether they're business partnerships or romantic partnerships. You're downloaded with that wisdom, with that wisdom, that foresight to see and to know who um, is, is more compatible with you, who's compatible with you. Also here, you are understanding the magnetism of the universe and that you attract what you are. So I love this message coming out from spirit. So this is guidance here in showing you how to, you know, allow these blessings to come into your physicality. Thank you, spirit. Let's get more insight. The big unexpected, the big 
unexpected blessings coming to you. Thank you, Spirit. Thank you, Spirit. You have here naked. I love this for you. So with the naked energy, this is about being transparent. This is about feeling free to step out into your full, the full, greater version of yourself. Not caring what people think, what they say, how they feel. You are simply unbothered here. And this is the energy that is needed to create the life that you do want. So, and you're encouraged to, to understand that you are beautiful just the way that you are. Just the way that you think. That's just the way that you talk. You just being genuinely you, uniquely you, you are enough. And spirit is validating you here with this question and thought that you have previously had in your mind, whether or not you are enough. The answer is absolutely yes. Thank you, spirit. So let's get more insight. What are you being blessed with? Your big unexpected blessings. Thank you, spirit. Your big unexpected blessings. Page of Swords. Quite intriguing because you have the Daughter of Swords here and the Page of Swords here. So this is awesome. Again, about communication and those air zodiac signs, Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. But specifically here with the Page of Swords energy, I can see that um, at the truth. Something is, is going to come out that you have been wanting to know. And um, it's, it's been on your mind quite a lot. And I do want to say that there is someone that there, there's someone that's gossiping about you, speaking about you, watching you on social media as well. But that is a blessing because that truth of that person, you know, trying to find out what you're doing, um, that truth coming out is going to be a blessing to you and you'll be prepared for it. You actually, you're here, you're unbothered here, you're naked, you're very transparent with who you are. And so that's what makes it extremely wonderful for you. Thank you, Spirit. Your big unexpected blessings, the big unexpected blessings coming to you. Thank you, Spirit. I also do want to point out, I'm getting a clear message from Spirit, not to forget to let you know about the Mars energy, where a Mars does represent you taking action, and it does represent um, projects being completed. And with those projects being completed, this is going to allow you to have even more courage in stepping out and owning owning who you are. I am also picking up that your body, you're taking care of yourself a lot more. You're re looking really good, working out in the gym, um, eating healthy, high nutritious foods. And so that is a blessing here where your self-care is at the forefront, um, leading the way into your prosperity and abundant lifestyle. So let's get more insight. Thank you, Spirit. Your big unexpected blessings. That are coming to you. The God Merlin. Alchemy. Manifestation. Magician. This is exciting. Because this is about how you are able here to turn your visions into reality. You have a very high um, uh, vibration for manifesting whatever it is that you want, um, whether it's money, love, um, friendships, um, whatever events you have, you are very strong and very powerful with this. And the alchemy energy, um, that represents the Virgo. So Virgo is very significant here in this reading as well. And with the magician energy, it, this is about how you are very focused and the universe is focused on you as well. And so the universe is conspiring in your favor so that you can turn your visions into reality. I see here that you are taking more inspired action. And by you taking more inspired actions, this is what is allowing this great creative process to take place and turn um, the things that you do desire into just this magical uh, manifestation here. Thank you, Spirit. I do also see that you are resonating more with your inner child as it does relate to this page of swords. And that's a wonderful thing because that's a high vibrational, free, fun, flowing energy. Thank you, Spirit.
So group one, this does conclude your reading. I hope this reading does resonate with you and inspire you. If it does, please leave a comment below because I do love reading your comments. They definitely warm my heart and they make my day. I am sending you lots of love and good energy. Hello, beautiful group two, and welcome to your reading. I'm Clarity Bay. I'm a psychic tarot intuitive, and I'm dedicated to answering the questions that are most important to you. And in your reading, I'm going to give you clear insight on the big unexpected blessings coming your way. I will share with you everything that spirit gives to me and not leave anything out. Please take one moment to click that like and subscribe button. Hit that bell notification so that you do not miss an important video message. Let's get straight into your reading. So you are naturally attracted here to your card, Starborn. And what I am picking up from the energy of the starborn, as it does relate to you, is a clear message that you have a strong, I mean, a very strong spiritual connection with the universe. So you're encouraged to trust your intuition and your inner feelings about things, especially when your inner feelings um, are at odds with the appearance of something. Because sometimes, really sometimes, it is when it seems like the least is happening that the most important things are actually taking place for you. And you just cannot see it yet. You have a special and deeply spiritual life a purpose to fulfill. You cannot get there with logic and planning. Because, see, your spirit knows how to guide you and the universe knows how to support you. So following your heart along your spiritual path is the way, it's the way to go because it will lead you to your best, your brightest, and your most beautiful life success. Thank you, spirit, for that A message being allowed to come across here. So let's get more insight. Thank you, Spirit. Wow. This is, I can tell, just starting off here with your reading, that it's really going to get exciting and interesting for you as we continue to read. Let's, let's get more insight. Thank you, Spirit. The, the, the big, unexpected blessings coming to you. You have here the Three of Pentacles, success. Enterprise and success, talent, and teaching. The Three of Pentacles energy is Earth, Zodiac sign energy. So Taurus, Capricorn, and Virgo are in the top placements of the birth chart. The sun, moon, are rising signs. The seven thoughts of relationships or the planet Venus in the top placements of your birth chart or the birth chart of someone that is very significant here as it does relate to this three of pentacles energy. So there's some teamwork that's going to take place, a collaboration with you and someone else, or it, it could be a group of people, but there is a nice collaboration and surrounding that collaboration is a high vibration frequency of success and it does relate to your talents also I do see I see teaching in here I see you teaching and sharing um, your insight with others guiding others so this is this is very wonderful let's get more insight thank you spirit what's happening for you the big unexpected blessings coming your way And you have the communicator, which is the planet Mercury. So let me point out that the planet Mercury that does rule over the signs of Gemini. We got Gemini with the planet Mercury and Virgo. Thank you, spirit. And so I'm happy to actually see the communicator show up because we did mention Virgo here with the three of pentacles. So this is how... Um, a spirit is saying that words have power and something to do with you and words. Maybe it's writing, it's singing, it's it's speaking, but this is about you being very outspoken. 
you know, um, and, and you're going to attract a very friendly and warm vibe from others as you become even more intuitive with your psychological um, gifts that you do have because you're very informing. We mentioned here uh, uh, teaching. So you're going to be teaching people and, and they are going to rely on the words that you do speak. Thank you, Spirit. I love this for you. It's a nice correlation with, with the Three of Pentacles here. That's amazing. Let's get more insight. Thank you, Spirit. The unexpected big blessings coming to you. The big unexpected blessings coming for you. Thank you, Spirit. You have here the Six of Cups. So with the Six of Cups energy, this is emotional water energy here. And the Six of Cups energy is about someone that you're going to reunite with. And this person, you feel very strongly for as well. You feel very strongly for this person. You have a deep affinity for mm -hmm. this person. Um, and you guys are going to get together. This person is, is going to bring um, you a gift as well. Thank you, Spirit. So let's get more insight. Let's get more insight. The big unexpected blessings coming to you. And you have here, I can replace false premises with law-based premises. This is intriguing. And the message spirit has for you here is that there has been a theme unfolding here of replacing flawed premises with law-based premises. And we would like to leave you with a final one. We all make too much of all of this. It is simpler than we all make it out to be. Be easy about it. Be kind to yourself. Do things that feel fun. Look for things that bring you relief. And just easily move into that place, which is called your vortex. When all things that you want have already been lined up for you, everything that you are desiring is already yours as a clear statement from spirit. And you are, you are encouraged to just align with this. And in order to align with it is to simply relax. And again, have fun on your journey of creativity exploration, communicating with others. Thank you, Spirit. So this is a, a guidance, a instruction from Spirit on how to allow these blessings to unfold into your life, to unfold in the physical realm. Thank you, Spirit, because you already have them in your vibrational vortex. It's already yours. And so I love seeing Spirit give you this instruction here. Thank you, Spirit. Let's get more insight. The unexpected big blessings coming your way. And you have here the Allah release of grief. The release of grief. No more grief. No more sadness regarding that situation, that person, that thing, that event. No more of that. So now you're on a high flying disc here where you're enjoying life and you're living in the fullest of the moment here, allowing yourself to grow, allowing yourself to be free, allowing yourself to connect with new partnerships, new friendships, reuniting with someone that from your past, sharing gifts with each other. Thank you, Spirit. Let's get more insight. The unexpected, the big unexpected blessings coming to you. The big unexpected blessings coming to you. Thank you, Spirit. Ace of Wands. Oh my goodness, this is phenomenal. The Ace of Wands energy, a fire zodiac sign, Sagittarius, Leo, and Aries. In the top placements of the birth chart that I did just mention moments earlier, but specifically here with the Ace of Wands energy, this is about a blessings about the new project that you're working on here. Blessings. 
And lately you've been having the urge to create, to just do it, to just put yourself out there. And spirit is here to validate you and say, yes, that is the way to go. Because you see here, divine intelligence is what created the universe and you are part of divine intelligence. And this is exactly what you should be doing. You should be very creative. Thank you, spirit. But there's blessings around your creativity. It's going to be extremely successful. And I love how the Ace of Wands laid naturally under the Three of Pentacles. Because this Three of Pentacles is about enterprise and success surrounding your talents and surrounding your teaching skills, gifts, and abilities. Thank you, Spirit. I love this for you. Let's get more insight. The big, unexpected blessings coming to you. Archangel Christiel, higher consciousness, a light and Christ light. This is awesome. See, you know what I love about Archangel Christiel showing up here for you? Thank you, Spirit. Is it's related to the grief here of how you've been holding on so long to, to the past and worried about the future, worried about moving forward. Well, that energy is now released and you are feeling light, free, love creative, fun, recognizing your higher self, recognizing the beauty in yourself, recognizing the strength in yourself, knowing that you are and have self-confidence, self-love, self-respect, self-courage, self-assurance, unconditional love for yourself as you're being guided, loved, and protected here. This is amazing light energy and the power to tap into your higher consciousness. Thank you, Spirit. So group two, this does conclude your reading. I hope this reading does resonate with you and inspire you. If it does, please leave a comment below because I do love reading your comments. They definitely warm my heart and they make my day. I am sending you lots of love and good energy. Hello, beautiful group three, and welcome to your reading. I'm Clarity Bay. I'm a psychic tarot intuitive, and I'm dedicated to answering the questions that are most important to you. And in your reading, I'm going to give you clear insight on the big unexpected blessings coming to you. I will share with you everything that spirit gives to me and not leave anything out. Please take one moment to click that like and subscribe button. Hit that bell notification so that you do not miss an important video message. Let's get straight into your reading. Your energy, you're naturally drawn here to the card that represents Daring Dreamer. And I can see here, this is a clear message coming to me for you. Is that, you see, you don't need to adjust your dreams to fit in with what others say is realistic sensible or practical. Why? Why seek to limit the power of the universe with negative expectations? Spirit is encouraging you here to just really be uncompromising with your heart wisdom and listen to what it wants and yearns for and believe that the universe has put those desires there and that the universe will show you every step to take to fulfill them. And do not allow someone else to make you feel like you should change who you are or what your heart truly yearns for. Not even a tiny bit. Not even for a single second. You must always listen to the cosmic GPS system for that is your higher self connection. Thank you, Spirit. I am very excited to see the remainder of your reading with that message coming through so full, so strong, and so powerful for you here. Thank you, Spirit. The big unexpected blessings coming to you. Coming your way. What are they, Spirit? Ace of Cups. This is a new beginning, representing a relationship, a 
beautiful relationship, high vibrational energy, as is seen here with the Ace of Cups. Someone very connected, very emotionally stable and connected to you. Thank you, Spirit. I do see here with the Ace of Cups, this is definitely um, a relationship that um, can be and turn into a proposal or a marriage. This is a new beginning for you, a fresh start with a new relationship. Thank you, spirits. Let me point out that the cup energy does represent those water zodiac signs, Pisces, Scorpio, and Cancer. Seen in the top placements of the birth chart, the sun, moon, or rising sign, seventh house of relationships, or the planet Venus in your birth chart, or the birth chart of this person that is coming your way. Thank you, Spirit. I love to see the high vibrational Ace of Cups card showing up here alongside the Daring Dreamer energy. Because for a while, you've been wanting a partner here that does see things naturally the way that you see things. Someone you don't have to force your opinion on your perspective or your beliefs. So this person that's coming in your life is going to fit quite nicely with you because they already um, see the world the way that you see the world. So let's get more insight. Thank you, Spirit. The big unexpected blessings coming your way. The advocate, Saturn. So with the planet Saturn showing up here, this is nicely. Because this is nice, nicely aligned with the, the two cards that you are already attracting here. Saturn is simply saying, I align with the greater good for all. So there's resources coming in here for you. Lots of resources. Lots of rebellious energy as well, where you're not listening to other people, the doubters, naysayers, haters. You're like, hey, I don't hear you. I don't hear you. I do not hear you. Goodbye. Hello and goodbye to those people that you do not naturally resonate with. You are sending them off with lots of love and white sparkly light here. Thank you, Spirit. I do want to point out that there's something that you are going to be a champion in here. You're driven. You're very devoted. And so Spirit is recognizing that characteristic trait that you do have. Very compassionate you are as well. Thank you, Spirit. I love, I love the art here in the Saturn card as Spirit gave us the insight about the Ace of Cups relationship energy and then the Saturn card comes out right next to it representing alignment and spirit gave us that message of how this new person that's coming into your life you're going to just be naturally aligned with thank you spirit let's get more insight the big unexpected blessings coming your way You have here the Ten of Cups, the Ten of Cups. So two cup cards. This is nice. And this is a great correlation. Ten of Cups, cup energy, water, high vibrational water energy here. Thank you, Spirit. Those water zodiac signs. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Thank you, Spirit. I love the Ten of Cups for you. There's lots of family contentment for you. So as you do make your way being a creative with your driven personality, you're going to find lots of family contentment and total love and support from those that are closest to you. As seen here ooh, with this Ten of Cups energy. Thank you, Spirit. Let's get more insight. I see lots of blessings for your family. The things that you want to do for your fa family, they're going to take place. And they're going to take place rather quickly as well. Because you see here with the planet Saturn, this is about commitment. Okay. And it's about um, a discipline and challenges as well. Saturn also does rule over the zodiac sign of Capricorn. So Capricorn is very significant here in this reading as well. Thank you, Spirit. Let's get more. 
the big unexpected blessings coming your way. You have here soul forgiveness. So because forgiveness is definitely a energy that resonates very high up on the law of attraction scale of giving. So as the universe does align with you and give you the relationship that your heart does desire, align you with the dreams that you are driven and, and are on the path of accomplishing. The soul forgiveness is here for you. So spirit wants you to know that you are recognized with forgiving someone that there were challenges that did take place in the relationship and you are on the right track because forgiveness is the ideal energy that um, you must harness in order to allow the universe to give you exactly what it is that you dream of. Thank you, spirit. So yes, continue to keep forgiveness at the forefront of your thoughts as it does relate to someone where you've had a difficult or challenging relationship with. Let's get more insight. Thank you, Spirit. What's happening for you? The unexpected, the big unexpected blessings coming to you. And you have the God Merlin, alchemy, manifestation, magician. So here with the god Marilyn, alchemy, ruling over the zodiac sign of Virgo, which is the alchemist. So Virgo, very prominent here. And I feel like Virgo could be in the your 10th house. The 10th house is the house of the public image. It's your career, your legacy. So no, Virgo definitely rules over the 10th house. So your career is being blessed here. Strong manifestations as well. You're able to manifest whatever it is that you desire. And spirit is definitely giving you the insight and the path and showing you that you are truly aligned by validating your feelings here. And then with the magician energy here, this is about how, because you have focused creativity, you are turning your visions into reality. Thank you, spirit. And now you're created from inspired action rather than creating because you feel desperate or frustrated <laughs> because that never gets you anywhere. You may have results a little bit at first, but inspired action encourages you to and helps you to continue to create without non-stop interruption and you get more energy. The more you create, the more energized and powerful you get. And because you are driven that anything that is in your past gets destroyed, <laughs> meaning that whether it's your goals or, you know, things that you have to take care of, you don't have any problem doing them. Thank you, spirit. What a great path you are on. A wonderful frequency here. Let's get more insight. The big unexpected blessings coming for you, coming your way. The big unexpected blessings coming your way. And you have here, I have the power to direct my own thoughts. So Spirit is saying here that your thoughts do create the reality that you live. And one of the most exciting things about beginning the process of deliberately focused thoughts is that the law of attraction will bring you evidence of your improved thought immediately. And while old patterns may be hard to break, you may slip back into old patterns from time to time. Evidence of your effort will be undeniable to you. And before long, with much less effort than you spend trying to dodge negative conversations or train another into better behavior, all of your relationships will improve. So Spirit is giving you clear instructions here about your thoughts because what you think controls 
your emotions and how you feel is the key to attracting what it is that you want. So in essence, if you feel good, you're going to attract good experiences. Now, that's not to say that because you're feeling good, you won't run into someone that feels bad. That's not how it works. It means that you won't stay there and you won't wallow in the sadness or the pity that that person does feel because you are on a, a different uh, frequency. You're on a different frequency. It's like a radio station where if you're on 97.3 and the other person is on 82.1, so you're on a higher frequency. And so you, you will recognize that person. You will have compassion and understanding for that person, but you will not feel those negative emotions because you have guided thought and you will see that person for who they really are, which they are a powerful creator as well. And they have happiness in their vortex as well, as well as an abundance of creativity. And so once you recognize that, um, you do not feel sorry for people because you see the greater version of themselves. And you are the type of person that will encourage people to see that as well, which is a clear message here for you. Thank you, Spirit. So let's get more insight. The unexpected blessings coming for you, coming your way, the unexpected blessings coming your way. Seven of Cups, the Seven of Cups energy, a water energy, lots of relationship connections for you. I see a romantic uh, relationship connection is seen here with the Ace of Cups and then here platonic relationships are seen here well, with the Seven of Cups energy. So also, this is about like, you're going to be offered many positions, lots of choices, and you will have lots of commitment issues, but see, you'll be smiling. You'll be happy about it because it doesn't feel like work. You'll be able to do two, three, four things at a time, and you'll just be on the moon because of your vibrational frequency, because you feel good, because you appreciate you know, everything that is happening for you, all of your blessings. So this is why you won't have that feeling of feeling overwhelmed, or frustrated, or tired. You're actually going to be feeling more refreshed, more alive than ever, wanting to just push through, wanting to, you know, take care of yourself. You, you're starting here a self-care routine where you are offering a high vibrational, healthy healing energy to um, come into your ex ex existence as well. So this is great energy here, the Seven of Cups energy. So I see many opportunities here for you, financial opportunities as well, as well as, again, personal um, and romantic partnership. I see a specific romantic partnership, but several platonic relationships and a specific platonic relationship as it does relate to your career, which is awesome. But lots of success, love and success and financial abundance here for you. So group three, this does conclude your reading. I hope this reading does resonate with you and inspire you. If it does, please leave a comment below because I do love reading your comments. They definitely warm my heart and they make my day. I am sending you lots of love and good energy.